Hello viewers, in this presentation we talked about integration of calculus. Integration is the exact opposite of differentiation. The differentiation of the function y is equal to fx is denoted by dy by dx or f dash x. On the other hand, the integration of the function f dash x is fx plus c or it is written as integration sign f dash x dx equal to fx plus c where c is constant. Once again, by differentiating the function y is equal to fx with respect to x, we get f dash x. On the other hand, by integrating the function f dash x with respect to x, we get fx plus c or integration f dash x dx equal to fx plus c where c is a constant and the symbol this is used to indicate the integration. Example 1, derivative value of x to the power n is equal to n into x to the power n minus 1. On the other hand, integrated value of x to the power n is equal to x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. In differentiation, the power of the variable reduces by 1 and the power is multiplied by with the independent variable. On the other hand, in integration, the power of the variable increases by 1 and power of the independent variable becomes a divisor of the independent variable and we add a constant c. Example 2, derivative value of x square with respect to x is e equal to twice x. On the other hand, the integrated value of twice x with respect to x is equal to 2 into x to the power 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus c and that is equal to twice x square divided by 2 plus c and that is equal to x square plus c where c is a constant. Example 3, derivative value of x with respect to x is equal to 1. On the other hand, Integrated value of 1 with respect to x is equal to x plus c, where c is a constant. Example 4, derivative value of tis x is equal to 3. On the other hand, integrated value of 3 with respect to x is equal to tis x plus c, where c is a constant. Example 5, if y is equal to f x is equal to 20 plus tis x minus x square then dy by dx is equal to f dash x is equal to 3 minus twice x. On the other hand, the integration value of f dash x dx is nothing but integration of 3 minus twice x dx which gives y equal to f x equal to tis x minus x square plus c, where c is an arbitrary constant. Why? Why an arbitrary constant c or a constant term is added to integration process? In example 5, differentiating the function y is equal to 20 plus tis x minus x square, we get f dash x equal to 3 minus twice x. On the other hand, integrating the function f dash x equal to 3 minus twice x, we get the function y is equal to tis x minus x square plus c. Instead of the original function y is equal to 20 plus tis x minus x square. Now, in order to get the original function y is equal to 20 plus tis x minus x square from the derived function f dash x equal to 3 minus twice x, we need additional information or initial condition which will give a definite value of c such that c becomes 20. 
or c is equal to 20. Say, in example 5, the initial information is given that if x equal to 0, then fx is equal to 20. Then, the process of obtaining the original function is like this. Integration of f dash x dx is equal to integration of 3 minus twice x dx which gives fx is equal to thy x minus x square plus c that is equation number 1 given that fx is equal to 20 when x is equal to 0 then by putting the value of x as 0 in equation 1 we get 20 is equal to 3 into 0 minus 0 square plus c which gives 20 is equal to c. By putting c equal to 20 in equation 1, we get the original function as fx is equal to thy x minus x square plus 20. Here, c is the value of the constant term of the original function. So, c becomes 20 in this example. Therefore, a constant term is added to any integrated value of a derived function in order to determine the value of the constant term of the original function. Example 6. Given the marginal cost mc function mc equal to q square minus 4q plus 3, find the total cost tc function if the fixed cost fc is 10. Solution. The total cost tc is obtained by integrating the marginal cost mc function with respect to quantity produced q. So, tc is equal to integration of mc with respect to q. That is equal to integration of q square minus 4q plus 3 with respect to q. We get tc is equal to q cube divided by 3 minus 4 into q square by 2 plus thy q plus c. And it gives tc equal to q cube by 3 minus twice q square plus thy q plus c where c is constant. Now, when q is equal to 0, then tc is equal to fc, that is fixed cost, then that is equal to 10. And by substituting value of q as q equal to 0, in tc equation we get 10 equal to 0 cube by 3 minus 2 into 0 square plus 3 into 0 plus c implies 10 equal to c. Therefore, required total cost tc function is tc is equal to q cube by 3 minus twice q square plus twice q plus 10. In this example, the constant term c of the integrated function is nothing but fixed cost and that is equal to 10. Thus, integrating a marginal or derived function with respect to its independent variable, we get a total or original function like integrating marginal cost function with respect to output, we get total cost function, integrating marginal revenue function with respect to output, we get total revenue function, integrating marginal propensity to consume MPC with respect to income, we get consumption function. Integrating marginal propensity to save MPS with respect to income, we get saving function. Saving function. Integrating investment function with respect to time, we get capital stock. Similarly, integrating the rate of growth of output with respect to time, we get output. These are the different applications of integration and this is how we obtain original function by integrating the derivative functions. This is about the idea of integration.
थैंक यू